So digital gaming is becoming ever more popular, but is it all good? Well, in today's video, I'm going to cover the pros and the cons of buying digital copies of games. Welcome back everybody and thank you for being here. My name is Wayne and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, go ahead and hit that notification bell as well. Okay, so let's jump right into the pros of digital games. First and foremost has to be the convenience factor of digital games. It gives you the ability to buy your next game without even leaving your house. You can do this from the comfort of your couch, at your desktop computer, or even on your phone. You can even simply just go to your console find the game you want in the store of your console and then purchase the game and then just wait for the download and as soon as it's ready to go, you're ready to start playing. Now, when you pre-order the game digitally, it will actually download in the background for you so as soon as it is launch date, it will already be there ready for you to play and as soon as the game comes out, you'll be ready to go. So rather than having to go to the store and you wait in line to buy the game and then you have to drive back home and then you have to put the disc back into the console and let it install and then oh wait by the way there's also a launch date update that who knows how large that can be and now you're waiting for all of that to go and then now you're still waiting could be hours in order to finally play the game when you buy it digitally again as i mentioned in the second step it will download in the background for you so that way as soon as it releases you are ready to play at that time Now, one of the things that I mentioned as a pro to physical copies is, especially if you're a collector, you will have all of these copies to display out for people to see. But if you're not a collector, then that actually could be kind of daunting having hundreds of games and then needing all of the space in order to hold all of your games. So a great thing with digital is that you don't need that space. It'll all be done on a hard drive. And so you can save a lot of space in your house by having digital games. So as we mentioned, the convenience factor is definitely one of the biggest pros that you can have when it comes to digital games. And with that said, when you have digital games, you don't have to worry about getting up off your couch, finding the game that you want, and then putting the game into the console. With digital games, you simply just go to your console's library, find the game that you want in your library, select that game, and it's going to load up instantly for you. you'll never have to actually worry about losing your games per se. So as we mentioned in the physical copies, maybe you borrowed it out, maybe you on your own lost it yourself as well and you can no longer find the game and now you have to go back out and repurchase that. When you have a digital copy of the game, perhaps your hard drive crashed or you accidentally deleted the game trying to make room for something else and oh, well, now I want that game back. Well, because you've bought the license to the game, you can simply go back to the store. The store will recognize that your particular gamer tag and account has purchased that game in the past. You just simply need to reinstall the game. And once it's done reinstalling, then you have your game back. So speaking of sharing the games with your friends or other family members, uh, when you buy digital games, you're actually getting two games for one. So what I mean by that is, for instance, my son and I, if I buy a game on my Xbox, on my account, and I want to share it with my son, we just simply set up the family share on our different consoles, and any game that I've purchased digitally will be able to be installed on his Xbox, and then he can play the same game. And to make it even better, we can play the same games on our consoles at the same time. As well, if you wanted to play your games at maybe your friend's house and he or she doesn't actually have the game that you both want to play, but you own it, you can simply log into your account on that console and then you can go to the store, find the game that you own, and then download the game and install it on that console. And then once you leave, if you delete the account off of that console, then the access to that game will no longer exist though. And before we move on to the cons of having digital games, I would love to know how many digital games you guys actually own. So leave us a comment below with the number that you have and I would love to hear from you guys. Okay, so one of the most obvious cons to having digital games is going to be your hard drive space. Because games are pretty large in file size, you will most likely need to go ahead and buy an external hard drive, which obviously is an additional expense. But you know, if it's something that you can handle buying and you're going to have a lot of games and you're definitely going to need an external hard drive. However, if you don't have the money right now and you or you just don't want to buy an external hard drive, 
Um, the other option would be just to unfortunately delete different games, maybe some games that you don't even play, so it's not really that big of a deal, um, but you will be forced to eventually decide what games you want to delete if you want to install a new game that comes out. So now one thing that we do need to clarify is the fact that when you buy a digital game, you do not actually own the game. You are only buying the rights through a license to have the game. So as I mentioned, you know, if you delete the game by accident and you want to go get it again, um, the reason that Sony or Xbox knows that you own the game is because they can find the fact that you own the license to or the rights to um, have access to that game. So as you can see here in the Sony disclaimer, it, it specifically states that you only have the rights or the license to the game. Now something else to keep in mind is that while you can play the games in an offline mode, so maybe you don't have access to the internet or maybe your internet company's internet is down, right? And now you want to play some games while you have some downtime. Well, uh, you can still play these games in an offline mode, but you want to make sure that you are signed into the account that actually owns the game. And then that way the game will recognize that you have the license and access to the game. Let's say that you're tired of playing a game and you're like, ah, you know what, I'd like to recoup a little bit of the money that I spent on buying this game. And so you're like, ah, I'll go take it to GameStop or I'll go trade, you know, sell it on eBay or maybe on Amazon or something. And you're like, I'll just recoup a little bit of the money that I spent on that. Well, guess what? Denied. You can't do that with digital games. So that is definitely one of the cons to having digital games where if you had a physical game and you got tired of playing it and maybe you wanted to earn a little bit of money to buy your next game that's coming out, um, you could just take that game installed on one of the places that I just mentioned and you could have a little bit of money to put towards that. But with digital games, unfortunately, you do not have the ability to do that. Also, by going with digital games, you, there may be some unintended consequences to going all digital. Um, and I'd like to give a shout out to our viewer, Brunson 3 Films, for bringing this up in a past video. And that is the unintended consequences of the loss of labor. So when you buy a physical game, the physical game comes with a case. It comes with the disc itself. It comes with the wrapping on it. It comes with uh, employees in different stores and a whole realm of things that you know maybe you're not really thinking about when you buy digital games so if you buy a physical game you actually can be supporting jobs and and keeping jobs in those manners that may be lost if you know everyone went completely digital and so i just wanted to bring that point up to you guys just to you know see if that might be something that is definitely a con to going all digital so if you're still on the fence about buying digital games then make sure you check out this video here where I discuss the pros and cons of buying physical games. Or to view our whole series where we discuss our physical versus digital games then make sure you click right here. And with that, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.